Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a home with an incredible view, a nice huge pool, an amazing great room, really big, something that we don't see very often anymore, which is really nice. We have a three bedroom home, all with ensuite bathrooms, all with access out to the amazing view and the backyard lanai. I'm Mike Druto. I'm looking forward to bringing this one to you. This is listed by Kurt and Kirsten Carlson over at Louva Real Estate. Big thank you to them for letting me bring this one to you. Let's go inside. So we've got a great entry right here at the front door. Coming up to the front of the house, a couple things real quick. We have the guest bedroom side of the house. We've got the main living area in the middle, and then we have the primary on the other side. We have this great circle drive that comes across the lot. So you actually enter from up over there. You go straight down to the three car garage on that side. Maybe we'll go take a peek of that later. Uh, but your guests can come right through here and have this wonderful entrance right here. And I like it. We step right up into 18 by 18 travertine tile with nice tight grout lines. And that continues right in to the main living space, which is wonderful. Look how open this is. Open beam ceilings, tongue and groove, and nice white beams. It looks Great, and there is a ton of space in here. Quick pan around just to show you what we're looking at. There's our hallway down to our guest bedrooms. And then we have our kitchen, dining, and then this incredible great room here. Lots of space, there's a lot of different ways you could set this up. And then we go down to the primary bedroom down on that side. Uh, <laughs> When you're here, I mean, it's a commanding view out to the pool. Let's zoom in here a little bit, and then you'll see what I mean as the camera comes into focus. There we go. Pretty nice. Holy cow, guys. I know I teased it a little bit, but it really is a great view. I'm going to come back to that, I promise you. But you're going to have to hold on a minute. We're gonna look at some things real quick. So first of all, let's talk about this great room. So, you know, open concept before open concept was a thing. Everything is connected in here. There are so many different things you can do with the amount of space that you have. On our newer construction homes, we don't see this much open space in the living room, uh, like hardly ever. As construction prices have gone up really quietly, the sizes of the homes have gone down. I don't know if you've noticed it. That happens from time to time. This home's a little bit older. It's not an old home, but it's a little bit older. It's not brand new construction. And because of that, they're able to build a lot more for a lot less back then. And you get to have it today. So you have a little dining area here. It's perfect for a breakfast nook. I like what they did over there. We've got some wonderful kitchen accents. So we've got some great countertops. I have some better light over there, so I'm going to get a zoom in later and some nice backsplash, kind of that limestone travertine look. I have a display cabinet here, 46 inches with crown molding on top. Yeah, let's get that crown molding in there. There we go. And then we have our beverage cooler down below and some more storage. A really, really big island. I like how they went with two tones. So down here on our kitchen island, they went to black shaker style cabinets. We have chrome accents. That's the same for our wood shaker style cabinets, or I should say uh, stained wood, So they're because they're all wood. And then lots of storage up top. Gorgeous light fixtures that we have here. GE stainless steel refrigerator, more displays, and we have under mount lighting here underneath these cabinets. And so that really shows you how this stuff looks. This is gorgeous stone here. There's a lot going on. You got like some clear crystals, you got some green, even almost like a pink orange. We've got some nice rust orange color over here with more green. It's a really gorgeous stone, I gotta say. Single basin stink, restaurant style faucet, Bosch stainless steel on our dishwasher. We got a pantry over here, plenty of room for storage. And then let's check out these drawers. What do you think, guys? What do you think they're going to have? Yeah, these are nice. 
dovetail joints, soft clothes, exactly what we're looking for. Plenty of storage over here on this island. Let's talk about this for a second. I like how you have the spice rack. That makes life a lot easier. Wish I had done that on mine. I don't think we could fit it. Now I have to like reach in for trays of spices. I don't really dig it as much. Wish we had done that. We've got a GE profile, really nice five burner electric cooktop with a warming zone on that. And then just a really big island here. The size is absolutely excellent. And you have plenty of room. Let me spin around here. More storage on this side too, but plenty of room for uh, some chairs. So really nice setup that they have here. They've got three chairs here and another one there. So really good work. And you know, we vault up here in the kitchen too. Look how high our ceilings go in here. There's so much space, so much open light. We've got skylights up here in the great room. We had a skylight there in the kitchen. You got a lot of light coming in from the front door, large windows, and of course, from our sliders out here. So we got a big one here and two smaller, uh, I think there's, there might be French doors over on the left and right side. Just a ton of space. Uh, here in the great room, I gotta tell you, you could do this in a number of different ways. You can kind of make, right now it's just like a pathway out, but you could easily make this a conversation area and then keep this over here as your television area. And let's look at this for a second. Great amount of space in here, TV, and we even got a fireplace. We're at a little bit higher elevation. I'll put it down here below. I'm guessing we're about a thousand foot or so. Uh, so you could get cooler. You could run that from time to time. It's kind of nice to have. Really nice job. We have a slight uh, beige color on our walls. Nice high baseboards down below. I like how they've used a lot of these large rugs uh, to break things up. Some people will want to remove them and, and show the floors. You can definitely do that because the floors look absolutely gorgeous. Really excellent, great room. All right, I think I've uh, held you guys off long enough. Let's get over here. So once we come out to the lanai, actually we have a lot of covered lanai here, holy smokes. So I guess that's a good five or six feet wide all the way down on this covered lanai. It goes out a little bit more here coming out from the great room. You can see where the roof line goes out a little bit there. And then all the way down so that both those guest bedrooms uh, have access out here and a ton of outdoor living space that's already completed. Flagstone decking, looks like we got an extension over there. Table and chairs, more table and chairs, loungers, and you have space to have more. You could hold a party of 40, 50 people out here, no problem. Look at all the outdoor furniture they have, all the room. Really, really nice. Check out these gorgeous pots. So for our downspouts, they come right down here into this large pot. Uh, pot. And we have one over there and another one at the corner. And yeah, it looks like that's it. And then check out this pool, huge pool. Infinity Edge, that's a pretty good size Infinity Edge pool there, guys, uh, with an excellent sweeping ocean view, really wide ocean view. Wow, nice. A lot of entry steps down, nice wide entry. We've got our tile band on our steps. And then we have a bench that goes all the way down the length of the pool on this side, as well as this side. We have our pool cleaner. We have a waterfall from that edge. And it looks like we have, even though it's not on, I do want to call your attention to what appears to be, yeah, I think they can get flames coming up in here. This is a nice firescaping feature. And there's also a bench right over this waterfall. So you can just have the waterfall kind of hitting your shoulders. And we still have the waterfall on the other side that comes from the hot tub. So yeah, this is a really big pool. This lot, oh, they've done a lot of site work when they built this. You can tell from looking at the neighbor's houses and just the uh, property lines, looks like we got a little bit of extension there. This sits out prominently over here, really gives you that drop away view. Outstanding. You got room for eight people in the spa, no problem. Got our pool equipment right on the other side. And then I believe your property line's right down, right about there. 
would have that staked out and pinned for you. Goes down over there. I feel like I'm pretty sure this tree is on your property line. So if you weren't stoked about that tree, I'm pretty sure you could uh, resolve that, um, depending on if that's what you wanted to do. And so that when you're over here, it doesn't come into your view there a little bit, if you wanted to open it up a little bit more. Not saying you had to, but you could. Obviously, we've got some nice rock wall work on the other side that's retaining, giving us a nice grassy area, so room for kids or the pups to play. We're fenced in. We are fully guttered. We are concrete tile roof those things last forever all right pretty nice okay let's come in here and check out some other things here on the house i know the view might have sold it for some of you um i'll have a link down in the description below it'll take you to my website you can sign up there and i can get you information you also have my phone number and my email down in there as well if you look um you know if you're looking for a drop dead ocean view property um, in the mid two million dollar range, this might be one to really consider. There's a lot here that makes it pretty move in ready. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see anything you need to do on this home real quick. It's a garage, but I'll show you that we do have a three car garage and a workshop on the other side there. Hey, it's a garage. They're moving out folks. So be nice. Uh, and more storage. So workshop storage, three car garage. Um, you can never have too much storage. And you know, so many of these homes that we're seeing now, even in the two to three million dollar range, up to four million dollars, it's common that they only have two cars, uh, two car garage. Uh, having that third car is nice. One of the killer features on this house is you got your own bathroom here in this guest bedroom. Nice travertine tile. Horizontally placed, 12 by 24. Another gorgeous stone that we have over here in a vessel sink. Your own bathroom for this bedroom. Remember me talking earlier in the video how homes that are a little more established are just bigger? You know, we got bigger bedrooms in these homes. That's something to consider. They have a queen size bed here. You could easily, easily fit a king size bed. No problem. I, I walked by that half bath that we had out there in the hallway, and you'll notice that it skips this bedroom. Well, that's because along that hallway wall is this bedroom, also has its own bathroom, and it has a door that accesses over here from the kitchen. So guest bedroom number two, spin around slowly here for you guys. Also access outside, it's really nice. I can hear the waterfall. Every step I've been inside this house, I've heard the waterfall and it feels, sounds great. Um, again, you could easily fit a king size bed in here. No problem whatsoever. We're keeping the travertine tile, wonderful. We got the same cabinets and countertops. Well, same countertops. I think this is the same cabinet that we had in the other bathroom, but the same countertop for sure, vessel sink. Nice larger shower in this bedroom. So this might be the bedroom bathroom combo number two outside of the primary, I think. Boy, that view is just really, really good. I'm, I, I'll be honest, um, surprised this one hasn't sold yet. This is in a great neighborhood. Uh, it's gated, it's close to town. Uh, you're like five minutes from Costco five minutes from the airport. So the airport's right over there and Costco's right over there. You got Honokohau Harbor right below, Kohane Iki down there. Uh, this is a great area. One of the things that people like about this particular little belt is that it is sort of a transitional area with weather. If you're at that at this elevation, a little bit further south, like towards Laco Street, you're gonna have a lot more rainfall than you have here. It's a little bit, it starts drying on this island as you go to the north. Um, and so it's a little bit drier here than at similar elevations um, on other parts of the island. So people uh, definitely like that. You'll still get some rain. It's an elevation property. That's what people love about it. I'll tell you, people who live here in Kona and have been here for a long time, they want properties at like this elevation. <laughs> um, trust me. Okay, coming in here to the primary bedroom. 
I'm going to come all the way to the end real quick, just so you can get some perspective on where we came from. Back over here is our front door. We had our living area. This is the fireplace right here. So we come in to, we got a double, we got a French door entry into this primary. This primary is, is huge. It's absolutely huge. High ceilings in here, nice ceiling fan, French door that goes outside. Got a couple lamps on this really big king size, oversized uh, sleigh table seating area. I mean, you got just a ton of room. You could do a lot of different things in here. Uh, anything that you want, really, really big. Uh, and then we come through here. I like the old school. This is old Kona, man. I love it. Soji screen doors, nice accent in there. So we come through here to our bathroom. We do have a service exit outside. We have a little storage in here to the right, but we have more Soji screen doors into the closet. Really great. You know, I like that there's space in here that you have somewhere to sit down, put on your socks, put on your shoes. I think it's awesome. Uh, some built-in drawers, lots of space to put your shirts and everything. Excellent, excellent job. Love the closet. I gotta say, a lot of times on the more established homes, we don't see closets quite that big. I'm really liking what they did there. And then here in the bathroom, nice job. Obviously they've done some updating from their original construction. These cabinets look gorgeous. I like the antiquing that we have here on that nice accents. Vessel sinks is the same countertop we saw in the other bathrooms. It looks really great. Mirrors over here look good as well with kind of the glam finish around the border. We got our toilet over here. We got our shower in the corner and then a freestanding tub. So they've definitely added this. Um, great staging here, by the way. Good job to our listing agents, Kurt and Kurt, Kirsten Carlson. I've known those guys for like 20 years. Uh, we first started off uh, together a long, long time ago. Um, and they are great people. So I'm going to spin around here a little bit so you can take it all in. Okay. We covered a lot, guys. It's time for my three favorite things and the one thing I would add or change. Favorite thing number one is this outdoor area with the pool and the view. This whole thing here um, is superb. We get lots of views, of course, and I showcase those to you guys all the time, but this one's at a different level because you not only have the great view and the possibility of maybe that tree loot going away if you wanted to, but you got the hot tub, you got the pool. It's not a little pool. This is a big pool with a big infinity edge and you have lots of room out here to have a giant gathering if that's your thing, like a lot of people. Uh, I really like it. I like that it's a little bit um, old school Hawaii. It looks great. They've done a great job updating it. Um, yeah, so number one thing I like, get myself carried away there, guys. Number one thing I like is this outdoor area. The number two thing I like is the great room. Um, you have a lot of flexibility on that, and we're not seeing great rooms this big anymore, quite simply. It just doesn't happen at all. Number three, I could go with a number of different things. Um, I like that we have a three car garage with storage and with a workshop. I like that all three bedrooms have access out to the great view with these wonderful French doors. Um, that's a big one too. I, I'm going to say overall though, is just they've done a good job bringing this up to modern standards because it was a little bit of an older home. You know, it's not built in, you know, 10 years ago inside. Sure looks like it was built 10 years ago. So they've done a good job up keeping it uh, and updating it. So that's going to be my third favorite thing. One thing I would add or change. You know, the only thing that stood out to me, I think, is just bringing a little bit more lighting into the primary. But other than, and that's an easy add. Um, in fact, if someone wants to write a contract and we close on this, I'll get someone in here to add lighting for you as a closing gift, if that's your thing too. Uh, oh, we got a little bit of sprinkle. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. Just started sprinkling. Um, that'd be the only thing I think of that you can add. You got a three car garage. You got three bedrooms, each with their own ensuite bathroom, each with access out to this great view. Um, I'm really loving this house quite a bit. All right. I hope you liked this video. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.